1. Faint. She felt dizzy and almost fainted. 2. Nosebleed. After the accident, he had a severe nosebleed. 3. Diarrhea. The contaminated food caused widespread diarrhea. 4. HIV. The patient tested positive for HIV. 5. Allergic to. She is allergic to peanuts. 6. Nearsighted. He is nearsighted and wears glasses. 7. Go to the hospital. See a doctor. She went to the hospital with a high fever. 8. Take temperature. The nurse took my temperature. 9. Take blood pressure. The doctor took my blood pressure. 10. Take blood sample. They took a blood sample to test for infection. 11. Have a checkup. I have a yearly checkup. 12. Have an operation. She had an operation to remove her appendix. 13. Have a minor, serious injury. He had a minor injury when he fell off his bike. 14. Go into a coma. After the accident, she went into a coma. 15. Be in critical condition. The patient is in critical condition. 16. Make a full recovery. She made a full recovery from the surgery. 17. Antibiotic. The doctor prescribed an antibiotic for the infection. 18. Painkiller. He took a painkiller for his headache. 19. Sleeping pill. She took a sleeping pill to help her sleep. 20. Hit. He hit his head on the table. 21. Sick, ill. I feel sick, ill today. 22. Sickness. She suffered from a long-lasting sickness. 23. Long-lasting. The effects of the medication were long-lasting. 24. Headache. I have a terrible headache. 25. Flu. She caught the flu last winter. 26. Backache. He has a chronic backache. 27. Sore throat. I have a sore throat and a runny nose. 28. Runny nose. She has a runny nose and sneezing. 29. Cancer. She was diagnosed with lung cancer. 30. Stroke. He had a stroke last year. 31. Stomachache. I have a stomachache. 32. Toothache. She has a terrible toothache. 33. Pain. He was in a lot of pain after the accident. 34. Painful. The injury was very painful. 35. Have an x-ray on. They had an x-ray on his broken arm. 36. Be worried about, worry about. I'm worried about her health. Yesterday was a real drag. I woke up feeling under the weather, with a pounding headache and a sore throat. As the day went on, I started to feel even worse. My body ached, and I had a persistent cough. I knew I couldn't ignore it any longer, so I decided to go to the hospital. When I arrived, I was immediately greeted by a kind nurse who took my temperature and blood pressure. After a short wait, a doctor came to examine me. He listened to my symptoms, checked my throat, and took a blood sample. I was worried, but the doctor assured me that it was probably just a bad case of the flu. To be safe, they admitted me to the hospital for observation. The nurses were incredibly attentive, constantly checking on me and making sure I was comfortable. They even brought me meals and helped me with my medications. I was given a painkiller for my headache and an antibiotic to fight off any potential infection. While I was in the hospital, I felt weak and tired, but I was grateful for the care I was receiving. I was also worried about missing work and falling behind on my studies. However, I knew that taking care of myself was the most important thing. After a few days in the hospital, I started to feel better. My fever broke, my cough subsided, and my energy level began to return. The doctors discharged me, and I was able to go home. I'm still recovering, but I'm feeling much better now. I'm so grateful for the care I received at the hospital. It was a tough experience, but it taught me the importance of taking care of my health.